whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you telling me you can copy other clans' magic? Die. Wait, what? He lets me die! He can copy Togi's attack? How? Why? Welcome back to another episode. No, it's our first movie reaction on this channel. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. The movie has finally dropped. Well, technically, it's been out in movie theaters for a long time. But finally, it's not exclusive to movie theaters. Now, season one, I have seen it by myself. But it was released in, like, many years ago. So, it's not on this reaction channel, obviously. I know what happens. It's gonna be... Some, some details are a little bit foggy. But I believe this movie is supposed to be centered around a character named Yuta, right? And we haven't really seen Yuta in season one. All I know from him are the little teasers that people have dropped in season one. For example, when Toto Aoi shows up for the first time and meets like Megumi, and he kind of just initiates it by fighting, saying, "What kind of girl do you like?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, shit, I can't really say something bad in front of all the girls." Um, every girl are valid. I love personality above all, and he's like, "Wrong answer. No big girl with a big ass." Starts fighting him, but at the end, when they get bailed out by Panda. Odo says to Panda, make sure to invite, he didn't say his specific name, but him. I think it's alluding to Yuta to the, I think, was it the spring or some kind of festival tournament arc that happened right after, right? The second time is when Gojo is shit-talking to the headmaster, and he's talking about how think times are changing, old man. Right now, there's many key players, and then I think he alludes to Geto himself and Yuta, right? I think that's what it was. And then, I believe... When Panda was fighting the robot during that arc, or the tournament or the festival arc, right? After we beat him, Panda goes on like a little tangent saying, humans are weird. There was a guy that yearned for strength above all, and when he finally got it, he just walked away. Feels like there's a little bit of a relationship between Panda and Yuta, right? I know nothing really about Yuta. I know that I've, I've seen from the trailer that he uses a katana. It looks fucking sick. He seems like a very meek and timid guy initially, but I'm sure he just does a complete personality switch when he actually needs to be fighting somebody, right? Why did he disappear? Why was he not shown in season one? This is crucial to go into season two, which I'm assuming is going to be the Shibuya accident round two because Geto was the one that did it round one before season one actually like chronologically happened, right? Because they keep talking about how major that event was during Halloween time when tensions and evil spirits are, you know, they're at the highest shit pops off. I guess this movie is supposed to prep us for season two. I don't really know, but let's find out what happens. Let's watch the movie. Usually, this kind of like color of the sky is not. It doesn't. It's it's not very good. Hmm? You just want to punch him? This is fucking. Gr the way that he's talking about bull. This is fucking weird. Usually, bullying doesn't just happen. Like the edge. He's getting like some kind of like. He feels very sexually like frustrated. Rika. I guess he's dead. That's it. That's what he's, I guess, trying to record. Some bullying action. He was basically per trying to prevent the bullies from dying. Who's Rika? He has some kind of evil spirit that just, like... They put the body in there? Is this Yuta? I guess it is. We literally just put the bodies in these little... Was that the bully that got fucked up like that? Oh, it's the the old boomer is at the top, right? That he hates. Okutsu Yuta is his full name. Yes, sir. Gojo doing what he does best, recruiting young kids with potential. Trying to create like a new generation to overturn the boomers, I guess. So he's... He's a shut-in. He gets bullied often, but anytime he gets bullied, all these bullied people, like, all the bulliers die. Because of Rika. It's not so lonely. We got Rika. <laughs> the curse. Save people. Let us teach you how to control your powers. And together we can overthrow the boomers of fucking Jujutsu Kaisen. Damn for mood. It's, uh, it's kind of quiet. Ah, they're, they're pretty friendly. They're pretty friendly. All, all three of them are great. I'll ignore him. He's, he's going to ignore you. <laughs> the pressure? They can just feel Rika like that? Look at Panda's face. They're all their instincts. Are this is what's haunting him. You looking at me? Instinctively, they're trying to fight. Hey, 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 relax. 
This is how you greet your new transfer student. A weapon through the fucking wall, but even Panda's ready to scrap, but he is cursed. Oh, well, let him teach him how to control the curse. Be careful. Will Rika just, I don't know, just be okay with this? Like, can we... Don't hurt him! Don't bullet. Like, obviously, it's like a very evil and ominous thing. Special grade cursed human. Special grade cursed human. So, six years ago, it's gonna teach us how Yuta was cursed. Aww, you got a nice friend with a birthday gift, bro. This guy. Wait, this looks like a ring. What is it? Yes, you can open it. Is it just friend? Big sister? Childhood friend? Who is it? A ring. Is this the source of the curse? Are you asking him to marry you? <laughs> what the? Engagement ring? Really? God damn, it's usually the other way around, but... I guess Yuta just rolls that way, huh? He's, he's got it good. The girls come after him saying, Will you get married with me? That's a promise, right? I'm gonna assume she's dead, though. And... Aww. I don't think you're both gonna grow up, though. I think only Yuta's gonna grow up. I think she's- Ah, here's the tired- Really? Truckun? Are you fucking serious? You kinda- <laughs> Alright, end, end it quickly before I got attached to the character. This is fucked, though. So her, like, emotions and attachment towards Yuta is so strong. Um... Ah, this is fucking terrifying. Oh. We'll get married, right? This is fucking nightmare fuel for the kid, but look, she obviously was so attached to Yuta. It's her. It's a promise, right? I think there's good intentions, you know, by Rika, but yeah, Rika, you, you're kind of scary. Goji, how can you play this so casually? <laughs> well, you gotta welcome Yuta. Mm, he does look like a. <laughs> Maki brings up an interesting point, but he is a victim in this sense, but it's other people dying that's bullying him. It's not that simple. A goal. Do you have a goal? A dream? Ambitions? It's your tutorial. Try not to die. He won't die. There's no way. I don't think Yuta could die, because like Rika's going to protect him every time. All right, let's fight though. Is this the same weapon that... Jesus, they're already here. That we used to fight, uh, what was his, what was her name? The tree curse thing. Hana, fuck, I forgot her name. You usually that have to fight together. I think that weapon was there. Yeah, well, you gotta teach the newbie how to fight, man. You can already tell by the choreography, like, it's different. Look at the animation. Look where Maki moves, the way that she flows. God damn! Okay! Uh, he's 16, so, like, grade 10? Oh, pff. right. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Technically, you should be like beyond that ranking, right? Because of Rika. No, he, go, he goes past that. Rank zero. Why not? Call it rank zero. Ooh. Gojo. But what's it going to say on this ID? She's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Watch. Special. Special grade already. Above grade one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've seen what Rika's energy is like, man. Careful, careful. Behind you. Someone's gonna actually attempt... Okay, it's pretty big. I wanna see Rika in action. I wanna... A rest in peace school infrastructure. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of money to fix that shit, but who cares? It's pretty big. But it's just, like, big. That's it. It's not, like... Probably not strong or like it's got special skills unless I'm wrong. The fuck? Wait, how did you? It's so polite. The weapon hit the teeth and they fell dead. What the fuck happened there? But if he's not in threat, will these emotions erupt and will he be able to? Come on, you gotta. Come on, be a main character. Maki's down for the count. It's like, come on, you gotta fucking get Rika out. What's your goal? I don't think he has one. He just... He doesn't know. 
Cause Kojo dragged him here. He doesn't know. Mm. Okay. That's a pretty abstract and vague, but you know, it fits a na main character narrative. It is only being by herself. I will protect my friend, the power of friendship! Confidence to say it's okay that I'm alive. He just wants validation for his existence, man. This is a good starting point for Yuta, though. Maki is the one that instilled the goal within Yuta. While wow, Maki is like cursed like this, too. Damn. I thought Panda would be the one doing this, but Maki is the one instilling all this, you know, motivation. The ring around his neck. So if you put it on your finger, what happens? So you know how to get her out then. If he puts the ring on, she activates? You said you don't even know what, how to get Rika out. Explosion. Yeah, you're done. This is a special grade curse you're talking about. Ooh. Leagues ahead of you, my man. You're done. But this is Rika fighting. I want. It's pretty much like uh, Yuta stands, you know. But like, I want to see Yuta fight along with Rika. Coach, are you impressed by it? He's pretty interested, but he's. I mean, I mean, he's laughing so scary, but probably is so scary. Yeah, you are beautiful and it, it, it. The problem isn't, you know, that monster anymore. We have a bigger problem because we can't control. There's a lot of people he's carrying. Holy shit. That's the main character energy right here, man. There it is. One step forward. This is main character energy, man. The desire to change himself. Dude, this is all the workings of a fucking main protagonist in a shonen anime. Thank you, Rika. I'll try my best, but please just don't go berserk after this. So maybe he'll be able to have a very positive relationship with Rika instead of fearing her. Okay, well, Rika's gone. I thought that she'd go on a rampage after and Gojo would have to like take care of it, but okay. She's just gonna exist within the ring. And they're just gonna be... It's not really a... Is it a blessing? I don't even know. You cursed Rika. What? I kind of want a situation where Rika and, you know, Yuta are able to work together and he's able to control her rather than her just disappearing. The ID- Oh, shit. Is this the monk? The- What was Nigete? Fuck, I forgot his name. Oh, wait, he gets a katana, right? I'm pretty sure he picked a sword. I've seen it in the trailer. The katana. Such a cool weapon, man. The weave special. Katana. Yeah. Yeah. Curses are stable and they're possessing an object. So we can connect Rika to the sword? Mm. This is the Shaman King uh, con con uh, This is like the Shaman King mechanic, honestly. Imbuing your spirit into the weapon itself rather than onto yourself. That was like a huge mechanic jump. Anyway, that's an that's a old ass anime. Whoa, 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 what? What was the revelation? She didn't... Uh, what's up, Panda? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait! This is a question now we would ask. Uh, I'm all about the big ass, baby. Big girl, big ass. Hey, hey, hey! They're both great. Small or big, they're fine. They're both fine. You're trying to find a ship for Maki right now? <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, it's viable. You're, it's big enough for you. <laughs> this is underwater for them? They sound like kids. Uh, it's gonna form a big fish. It's so creepy, like... That's a lot of weak curses. It's gonna turn into one giant fish. But no. Toki has got this. 
Be gone. Disappear. What's it gonna say? Nah. Explode! And again, like, if he tried this on, a, on like, a strong cursed being, right? It wouldn't work if he doesn't... If he can't override the enemy's, like, energy, right? But these are little guys, so it's... Wait, we're done. Huh? We can't leave? Because we're not done yet. Hello! That was fast. It doesn't look too bad. Wait, 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 wait. Was that the monk? Was that the monk's face? I saw the little strand of hair there. I think Toga just saved us. Huh? Who is this? Already? That was only two and we're done. What the fuck? It just like beams of light just sprout and just this. <laughs> Throw medicine, no! Alright, you just gotta solo this. There was the monk dude, right? As soon as he showed up, a strand of hair was there, like the monk guy. I should know his name by now, but... Are we already using Rika's energy on the sword? We didn't see it, like, imbue it. I wanted to see it. Show me. It's probably threatened by you. Uh... Let's see it, let's see it. Let's see how you imbue the energy. Oh, Shh. it's pretty cool. All right, instant fucking pillars of light from the ground. You just pretty fast now, though. Can he move at like superhuman speed, though? I wonder where. It yeah, that's right. That's because how dangerous his curse is. Yeah, uh, he thought he was kind of scary at first, right? Yeah, he knows that his true nature now. He's a good guy. It's just that you couldn't understand him. Yes. You're scared as fuck out of there, though. Cut him! Huh? He immediately knew danger? <gasps> but is it? Ah, it's not enough. Look at the sword just, like, clanging around. That was... But it's okay, it's 2v1. Beneath. Get the throat medicine. Pass. And then. Die. Good teamwork. Oh, it's just. I thought it was like an asthma spray or something. What's he gonna say? Die. Oh shit, I thought he was done for in the uh, midair there. Get crushed. Oh, careful, you th Is he done, though? Don't let your guard down, because the monk guy was still involved, right? Make him join. There he is! There he is! Right there, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you got to see a little bit of it. The fellow special grade. He is a special grade curse, but he's a human, but... but yeah, he picked up the ID. And he's Gojo's old friend, right? Hmm, what's Gojo gonna find here? Because the monk dude was like sitting atop there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He can somehow sense the cursed energy residuals there. Hmm. I think he's realized. Uh oh. Lowered a second veil. Oh, shit. Well, that's why I guess they couldn't get out after beating the 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 the, the, the fishes, right? Semi first grade. Still took it out. Mm, I don't think it's your fault, to be honest. Yeah, you can't compare with that monk, dude. My old friend. What happened between those two? I'm so interested in between him and Gojo. What happened between them? Why did he cause the Shibuya incident? Holy shit. Death to fools, punishment to the weak, love to the strong. <laughs> Based. Ghetto. Ghetto, Suguru. One of the four special grades of sorcerers. 100 no. Was this. Was he. Was the 100 incidents the Shibu incidents? So there's only four 
top grade, uh, the special grade Jujutsu Sorcerers? Probably Gojo? Ghetto? Yuta? Who's the last? She seems... Uh, he's all blushing and... Are you... You're calling him shady all... I mean, she, he didn't fix her, but... Godly. Do you like being worshipped? Probably. A godly being. Yeah, look how he looks down on them. <laughs> oh, is this his secretary? The leaders! This is getting so interesting. What is that? Oh, I was in touching with the... <laughs> he called people who don't have, you know, these kind of like jujutsu magic monkeys. They're filthy. This guy has such a superior... He wants to fucking eradicate humans. I'm going to understand what he's about. This is kind of like Gojo and the blue hair girl taking pictures together. He walked down the stairs because he's so fat and stumpy. He was like... Oh, he really just called them up. He's like fucking Frieza looking down the stairs. Fucking monkeys. Disgusting, filthy monkeys. So he has an obsession with money. Of course money rolls every... He eats the curse. There's the other little curse. Ew. Oh, 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 oh. Is this face gonna get ripped off? Uh, maybe we should have treated him better. Maybe you got more money for us, man. But, oh, disgusting monkey. Wow. Okay. They're, they're full on Nazis. They're full on Nazis. Okay. They have no regard for people that doesn't have, you know, this power that they do. Where are all these guys? What the f Never seen them before in season one. But they look down on- Oh, Principal! I love it. His voice is so epic. His voice is so fucking epic, dude. I love this voice actor. Ghetto Suburu. Former Jujutsu High. Special grade. Sorceress. The fuck? What happened? I guess Ghetto was in the mood, but suddenly it was like... Principal was like, jeez, we gotta move. What's going on? What's in the sky? What is that? Are they paying us a visit already? Like Ghetto's crew? Oh, hello! Do they know who Ghetto is? Everybody's getting ready to fly. Oh, Big Bird! All of them are here. He's doing a full-on assault? Look at his heart-shaped nipples. I think they're pretty strong. Ghetto already! Hello! I want to make a strong impression on you. Yeah, that was fucking fast. The classic anime shounen. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend time with all these noobs and monkeys, man. What is the current state of the world? He doesn't- he wants them to be exposed. He wants them to basically rule over every human in this world. I see, I see. No, it's the other way around. The weak should accommodate the strong. That's what it- oh, He's doing a fucking business pitch right now, huh? A sales pitch. He's just like, oh, okay, okay. We are the superior race and we gotta eradicate all the monkeys, man. Non-sorcerers, yeah. I was okay. You kind of failed the pitch there at the end. <laughs> it was going pretty well. It was kind of fucked up, but now it's like, oh, hey, you want to join? We 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 value Jujutsu Sorcerers. By the way, we're trying to turn them into genocide. Are you into genocide? Gojo and Ghetto. Oh. The principal. No, I mean. I'm listening. December twenty fourth, Christmas Eve. Night parade of a hundred demons on Christmas Eve? What the fuck? Shinjuku. Sorry, I kept saying Sh Shibuya incident. Was it the Shinjuku incident or was it the Shibuya incident? Or is this completely different? Because he already did the Shibuya incident before. Just go fucking wild. Alright. Alright, I'm down for war if it means good content. Alright, bye. Very interesting form of transportation. Is this called an albatross? I don't know. It's a big bird. Just carries around pelican? I, I don't know, but...
What do you see, Gojo? The past? When they were, you know, in school together and he started to realize, yo, this guy's philosophy is kind of fucked. He must join me. Oh, wait, what? It's the other way around right now. Yato was just saying sorcerers should protect the non sorcerers. What a conundrum. I, if I could become you. Sasuke and Naruto. His strength. He envies it so much. He needs it. He wants to be the strongest. It was just a drift because of their philosophy clashing. And that because he envied Gojo's strength so much. That he could really enact his ideals if he was the strongest like Gojo. But. Oh. Who is it? Which one? That guy. Who is this guy? Have I met him before in season 1? Probably not, right? The pink hair girl is like the secretary girl of Ghetto, right? That was taking pictures together? Stalling, exactly. The main prize is Ghetto. We need to go back. But that's far! Yuta has to survive this by himself? Oh, sh- Maki will be fine because we know that she lives in season 1. But let's see how they hold out. He uses rope? I don't have time for you. Let's see Gojo just kill them instantly. The eye is out, baby! Mugen, show me! Maki? Wait, we didn't even get to see the fight! But, kind of soft to get to, to let Maki live, huh? Don't you think so? Because, like, I feel like if you're really serious, you should kill Maki right now. Not that I want her to die, but... He didn't kill her. Yuta, where you at? No? Panda's gonna show up first. I guess Yuta will come in later. Yes. I want to see pandas. Um, we've only seen pandas, like he has three forms, but we've only seen two of them in season one. I want to see the third one, cause he had the aggressive mode and he had like the um, what was it? Did we see all three? Is this bounce form, the aggressive one, and the, and the tank form? I swear, I thought there was one more. Maybe I'm wrong. Like this is the aggressive one that we've seen. Where is Toge? Ooh, let's go, Panda! Don't worry, that's where Toge comes. I can say the same about you, Toge! Or not. Oh, I thought Toge was gonna come out of nowhere and start attacking. Panda is a ridiculous powerhouse. Yo, this fucking anime. And we know this isn't even the main, like, uh, the main. Oh, Panda, you'll be okay because she can. You can. No, 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 no. We know. You can reorganize the, the, the order of his organs, right? The vital organs. Plummet. I want to. This fucking guy. No, Panda's fine. He can shift around his organs, right? Maki, Panda's down. Toge's down. But he didn't kill any of them. Going on a little, a little speech, a delusional speech of a cult leader. Oh yes, oh yes. He's crying. He's actually crying. That's how into this he is. But here's Yuta showing up. If his friends are down, he's gonna go fucking. He's gonna go all out, right? Some kind of incident that happens. Is Rika out completely? Yes, she is. Okay. Special Great Curse Apparition. Rika fully manifested a second time. Oh, murder. Yo, this is some kind of rage that we saw Itadori do when fighting, um... Oh, I forgot his name. But when his friend died, right? Yo. This is the thing that's happening in the trailer. Yo, the way Yuta's up above looking like fucking Itachi Uchiha. Like, on top, look at them. On top of the fucking pole. <laughs> All right, but I no, I I have no doubt that Rika can, huh? Wait, 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 wait. What? That's Ghetto's. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You tell me you can copy other clans' magic? Die. Wait, what? He actually saying die. He can copy Togi's attack. How? Why? Because he put that white barrier thing around them? 
Where did she get that from? The fuck? What? Rika was able to produce that that fucking thing to use get Togi's magic? Holy shit. Rika's even more versatile than I thought. All I know about her is that she loves money. She uses an axe? God damn. What a fucking choice of a weapon. She reminds me of uh, the Silva family from Black Clover just because of her hair. The big braid that comes down, right? Damn! 50. Are you counting? I'm out. Oh, for the full. Again, it's all about that money, baby! Honestly, if you can keep up for this long against Gojo, doesn't that mean you're amazing yourself too? Oh my, oh my, oh, 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 got them hands! Looking even better than Ayano Koji in the most recent classroom of the Elite episode. Shit! <laughs> Where'd you go? Ah, get out of your trash. I'm completely understanding his, like, philosophy and his motivations now, though. Rika's matching his, like... Let's go! Alright, he's superhuman strength and speed now, for sure. But this is like 2v1, right? It's an actual fucking stand, man. This is nuts. Now I see why, you know, Yuta is so amazing. But like the craziest part so far was him using Toge's magic. I never could have imagined someone could actually copy his magic like that. And it's because of Rika. You know, Geto's pretty good, honestly, too. I mean, this is 2v1. And he's... Keeping up. And still he's doing the business bits on you, Tarana. Come on, come on, we're godly beings. Stop siding with those monkeys! Fine, it's fine. We got this. We got this. Well, like, we know both of them don't die. How does this fight end? Maybe with Gojo showing up to kind of disperse everything? Chosen people. But you don't even want Yuta for Yuta. You want Yuta for Rika, though. Like. This is such important dialogue, though. Like. We never gotten anything about Ghetto's like mentality, his motivations in season one, but he's just spewing all that shit right now, man. Different style, holding the sword differently. Hold up. I love it when he's about to gauge, and he, his eye is kind of like there's like a little light that like flickers, and oh man, the sh. No, the sword reforms. Watch it reform. I bet it's gonna reform. Oh? Huh? Nani! We can punch too, by the way. So he can imbue Rika's magic to fist too, right? It's not just a weapon. I guess the sword is gone then. Oh, Jesus, what's one hell of a punch? If you don't know if he's right or not, it's kind of. I thought he would completely trash them and like that philosophy, but that's the most important thing to him: his friends and justification. I'll have to kill you. I mean, look who's talking. Aren't you self-affirmation too? Like he's saying, "We're godly beings. I need more people around me." Look at all these fucking monkeys. That's how he validates himself. All right, let's see it. Let's see what full force you have. Hmm? Yes, who is the fourth? There's 16 cursed. How many of the special great curses do you have? Looks kind of scary. Into one? 
This is some black sperm shit from One Punch Man, man. If he combines everything into one, does that mean they're gone forever? Goju, I think we might need him now. Who is this? Hmm? Nanamin? Nanamin is what? Overtime, baby. Show me overtime. It's the overtime music. We don't see him in overtime just yet, cause like he gets like a burst of blue energy and stuff, right? Yo, Nanami is actually probably one of my favorite characters in Jujutsu Kaisen too. His backstory, it's so fucking relatable. Probably because I'm also a boomer, just like working an office job. But man, his backstory, is phenomenal. Oh, this is a little bit looking more like overtime now. But he didn't specifically say that. And show me, show me Black Lightning. Actually, he is the record holder. I guess that's all. Then I mean, we're gonna get. I, honestly, that's fine. Where you at, Toto? Show me. He's going on a carnage. Boogie woogie. <laughs> Carrying the entire mission. Oh Jesus! Take him out. Nah, Toto's got this. Don't worry. No, you guys are hindrance. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, his idol? <laughs> we gotta watch Takarachan live! One of the funniest running gags, dude. Lend me your power. He's asking her directly. How much of the power? Like, fully? What do you mean you don't need anything after that? Fully consume Yuta is what he's... This seems like a huge sacrifice. Truly be together. That they're merging? They're actually merging? Huh? What kind of new form is he gonna take? Oh, Jesus. Is it... But, but he can't die. We know he's alive. How does he survive? He's, a woman. he's hardly a womanizer, but... Pure love. That's his magic. Okay. I fight for just justice. You mean fucking genocide? I'm fucking killing the monkeys. But okay. One last attack. Some kind of like beam attack. This versus Gojo is like the the orb attacks, right? That he finished off during the the Kyoto tournament. What's stronger? I don't know, but it's a fucking mushroom cloud. What is this, like a fucking atomic bomb level of explosion? But they all live. Even all the special great curses that he has. I'm not I'm not sure how many he has, actually. We didn't even get to see the one that he summoned. Keep getting to use, but... Gojo? Gojo's not gonna finish him. Gojo's not gonna finish him. You should finish him right now, but he won't. <laughs> what the? I fight for justice. I'm a kind... What the fuck are you talking about? Sacrifice. That's kind of fucked up from Gojo's part now. If this is all planned to make them use the sacrifice, use Ghetto's, you know, trust. He... Who was that other girl I saw in the. Fuck. They were such good friends in the past, man. What the fuck happened? Card? The ID for Yuta? I'm not killing him. Come on. Even though he should. <laughs> At the very end. Fuck all those non jujutsu sorcerer monkeys, man. <laughs> so Yuta sacrificed everything. But he's still alive and himself. So I guess Rika, out of love, also just didn't in, like, consume all of Yuta. Is what I'm assuming. <laughs> Don't worry, Panda's a doll. <laughs> we can stuff him with more cushioning. Hello. Kind of scary, but we gotta accept her for who she is. Why didn't you consume all of three? Is this the sacrifice part? We gotta pay the price at the end. Is that what's happening? What you waiting for? Where? 
Rico, you wouldn't do that, would you? No, Rico's disappearing. Whoa! What? You can get your human form back? What the fuck? Who? Uh -huh. The relatives. Super distant relatives. Three great apparitions. A what? So his family lineage is cracked. Gotcha. You cursed her. You know, this is such a heartfelt, nice ending. She's gone. Salute, Rika-chan. You were great. But, I mean, not so soon, I hope. That means he would die, but... So Rika's gone. What about Yuta's powers being related to Rika? Is he independently still strong? It's kind of fucked on me to immediately fucking go into power scaling right now when they have such a heartfelt moment and she's, you know, resting in peace. But I'm like, okay, what does this mean for Yuta moving forward? post credit scene? Hold up! post credit scene? Like a dude. Yuta. Who is he hanging out with? Why would Miguel? Why would Miguel? Did Yuta join Ghetto? Huh? Why is he with Miguel right now? Yuta's kind of scaring me right now. Is this... Is this Ghetto? Right? Okay, Beef Steel. I get it, Beef Steel. Well, what's going on right now? Why is he with you? Gojo? It's Gojo, right? What's up? Why is Miguel with... What? What the... What the fuck was that at the end? Wait, 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 wait. Miguel is Ghetto's family. It almost kind of looks like just because of that one point where Yuta said, I really don't know anything about the sorcery world when he was talking to Ghetto. And I don't know anything about your philosophy, whether it's right or wrong. At that point, I was like, are you saying that you might think what Ghetto is saying is justified? Maybe? But at the end, he said, no, to protect my friends and to validate my own existence, I must move forward, right? The scene with Miguel makes me think that he joined the bad side. And he's kind of looking pretty happy too. What My assumption in season one was that something really depressing happened. I don't know, maybe he... I, I, I guess like maybe there was a girl that he really liked and she died because of his power or something, which is not really... It's, it's still wrong. And then he went into depression and he kind of just like went into... fade away into existence and is kind of like... not like retired, but like in hiatus mode. But this is kind of showing me that we completely flipped sides. I mean, he's just eating with Miguel, but you know, Miguel was on the other side, unless Miguel joined us. I, I... The fuck? What the? Anyways. Anyways. Fantastic movie. I would stand up, but I'm wearing my boxers usually. And I don't want fans or anything extra, but... Standing ovation. Standing ovation. Amazing movie. The best parts? I, I don't even know. Uh, probably the fight against Ghetto and um, uh, Yuta at the end, as well as Gojo just popping off. And a little bit, we get to see a little bit of, you know, the Kyoto side, every, right? Everybody just kind of popping off. Now, I mean, amazing as usual. We didn't get to see any Black Lightning, but still, still, this movie was everything that I anticipated, expected, and more. Like, I, Jujutsu Kaisen is such a special anime, because, like, people talk about how, like, the modern shonen is, like, Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia and no hate to them i think that you know demon slayer is very pretty has great animation movie quality movie tier quality animation because of you know studio Ufotable. there's the story isn't really compelling to me it's just fucking hype the entertainment district arc was amazing right but it's just like fancy decoration and animation right my hero academia uh, it started off kind of strong for me but then it kind of fell off because it was too textbook and it was too mid <laughs> maybe sorry if you guys love that series but jujutsu kaisen is so the animation, the story, it's so compelling. Every episode was just mm, mm, mm. such a refreshing take on Shonen, right? And with this movie now giving me knowledge of 
the background story of Yuta. And just a bit more of Geto and Gojo, right? Geto is definitely still the most interesting character to me. Him and Yuta, definitely. And Gojo, obviously, is interesting, but we got a lot of Gojo. We just didn't get many Geto, like, background scenes about his entire motivation of thinking, we, the Jujutsu Sorcerers, are godly beings. Why should we obey, you know, why should we, uh, like, appeal to the weaker ones? Why should we be, in, like, you know, hiding in existence? No, we should rule over them all. These fucking monkeys, right? But that was, that was, but, like, the, the, the philosophy wasn't like that before when he was just with Gojo. Maybe it was still in bottled up, but eventually they drifted apart because Gojo is such a godly being. Literally, such an all strong being, right? Wasn't there like a line he said, like, are you are you just like the strongest in the world because you're Gojo Satoru? Or are you Gojo Satoru because you're the strongest in the world? I was like, oh, what the fuck? Right? But obviously there's some envy of the strength. And they drifted apart because of their clashing ideologies and maybe a little bit of jealousy, right? But he still, Gojo still couldn't kill Geto at the end because he's my best friend, the only one I ever had. Such a special bond between them, even though we're on the opposite sides. It's should have killed him, man. Should have killed him. Cause if he did, then I don't think ah, that's Gojo's one, you know, one weakness or his biggest fault is his relationship with Geto and him not being able to clean up here. What did the third, third Hokage do when he was fighting Orochimaru in the lab? He, should, he didn't let him. He did, he didn't kill him. He said, "My pupil, I can't. I I I, I can't do this." And what happened? Motherfucker came back and ambushed the entire Konoha village, and he died. I can already see some shit happening in the future because you let get to live, but without it, we wouldn't have good content. But anyways. If you sticked around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to like push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.